Hi, my name is Rick Powers, and I'm on faculty at the University of Houston downtown in the Department of Criminal Justice and Social Work. I teach in criminal justice courses, and I've been here after a career in law enforcement. I was uh, a former peace officer, a former uh, uh, prosecutor, and spent 21 years as an FBI special agent. But more important than that, I took a non-traditional route, uh, going to school and working through community college and various other ways of collecting courses in an attempt to get my bachelor's degree. And I want you to know that we have uh, created a special program uh, just for serving peace officers and criminal justice professionals, professionals in our area. And I want to also alert you of the opportunity to take uh, all a part of your coursework at our Northwest campus uh, located um, on the campus of Lone Star College University Park up in the Tomball area. So here we are um, up at Lone Star College University Park, and we are co-located with them. You see that uh, big yellow star, big gold star there by Building 12 on their campus. And we've been there for several years. Uh, Criminal Justice is on the third floor, um, and UHD has other floors uh, for the UHD Northwest campus. Easy to find and if you are living or working in the north uh, metro area, the northeast, or even the northwest. We think this might be an option for you to do your coursework with us. Um, the, the facilities have been there a number of, of years. They're very, very nice, steady, dark classrooms. And we have students from, uh, from all different backgrounds in terms of a 20-year-old transfer student from McKinney College to a 70-something-year-old uh, retiree who has left federal service and decided to start uh, a new career in the criminal justice area, uh, either in a nonprofits or, or uh, in some other service uh, that they might do. Um, so our class uh, classes are typically made up of serving peace officers, uh, others uh, working in courts, corrections, and all different types, as well as those who might be uh, science background who want to be involved in forensics. So very, very uh, diverse uh, class population, both ages, backgrounds, and career goals. Now at Northwest, uh, I wanted to tell you a couple of things that make it uh, special and interesting. So first of all, all the courses are taught there by both full-time uh, and adjunct faculty. So full-time, that's full professors with uh, research, strong research background, and adjunct. And an adjunct is uh, the academic term for a part-time faculty member. Those persons are typically criminal justice practitioners um, uh, uh, by day or, or by week, and then they also teach. So we like to think of that we're bringing uh, 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 practice, uh, real practice into the classroom and taking, uh, taking uh, the classroom out into real practice in our communities. And so that's certainly what you would be doing too as a serving criminal justice professional or, or peace officer, uh, bringing uh, your experience and your perspectives from, uh, from your career into the classroom and taking our, the classroom perspectives and critical thinking out into your field practice. We typically have smaller classroom uh, 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 attendance, uh, we have smaller classes, uh, with smaller uh, number of students, which really makes for a more relaxed learning environment and much more interaction among students and also with the professor, which is, which is a really great learning environment for many. You can complete your full degree plan at UHG Northwest, especially if you take some online classes, but just know that you can also bounce between both downtown campus and Northwest campus if you wanna take uh, a certain course downtown um, uh, in a certain semester that really works for you. Uh, we have academic advisors on campus, so you don't have to wait a long time to get uh, a meeting with an academic advisor. They're right there for you to walk in our appointments, and Lone Star's bookstore supports us with, uh, with uh, uh, UHD textbooks and things like that. Plenty of parking, uh, very large parking deck, so you don't have to fight for a parking space in a congested downtown area. So for you, what's really different this uh, coming this year, I want to highlight for you. First of all, we have clustered all of the classes all in one day, class meetings one right after the other where there's no downtime and no dead time to make it the most efficient for you. And it's in what's called the hybrid mode, which means you meet one day a week and the rest of your work is online. Uh, so it makes really for best of both worlds where you get a classroom experience, but also are, uh, as a mature student, you're able to do part of your work online. Second thing I wanna to mention to you is make sure you know about both of our degrees. Everyone pretty much is familiar with the Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice, but we also have a Bachelor of Applied Arts and Sciences in Criminal Justice. What's key about that is that is designed for peace officers because you get uh, substantial academic credit hours 
for your uh, basic peace officer and your on up to your MPOC. Uh, it's just filling out a form, and basically, when you walk in the door uh, as a as a peace officer, you get uh, it more than two semesters of credit automatically because of your academy experience um, in in your in your study for additional um, uh, additional certification beyond that. So that's a very very good deal, and that's something I can help you with. Uh, turning that form and it becomes pretty much automatic. Uh, just know, uh, if you're not already aware of it, that there are state exemptions for tuition for some courses uh, that you'll get to attend for, for without paying for tuition. And also there's an application fee waiver from area community colleges. If you are transferring, we can talk more about that when you and I visit. Um, but just know that you don't have to have an associate's degree. You don't have to have uh, um, only attended one school and you're almost done, um, just like I did, we can collect your credits that you've earned at various institutions, let our uh, registrar's office and academic advisors put that all together and see where you stand as you do your course map uh, in your academic plan. So here's my contact information, a couple of comments for you on this. Um, uh, that's my name and where I office at the Northwest campus um, and also office downtown. But the cell phone number that I have for you there is dedicated number just for students. You can call me or text me there, uh, or you can certainly email me with at that uh, email address on the screen. But I know that you don't work uh, traditional um, um, uh, hours, uh, traditional work days, um, and neither do I. I make sure I'm available evenings and weekends. Um, again, we can set up a time to, to uh, Zoom, meet in person, a call, text, uh, uh, um, anything that works uh, best for you so that I can help lead you from point A to point B. All of you are in a unique circumstance probably, and I can help get you from, from here to there without having to uh, uh, really work through all of the different websites and all the different what ifs. I can make it the most efficient for you, and that's my job. That's what I'm passionate about, and that is what I'm uh, dedicated to do for you. So again, I'm looking forward to meeting you in person rather than by video. Uh, please reach out to me. And together, I just love to partner with you so that you can invest in yourself, uh, get your degree, whether it be a bachelor's or master's, uh, and continue to be making a difference um, as a leader in the profession and a leader in our community.